Whether or not we arm rebels, freedom fighters, whatever you want to call them, is a very hard decision. But I think we have to do it. It is a moral decision at this point. You just saw that piece of videotape, that young kid. We have a state in the United States of America, New Hampshire, live free or die. What do you think that Libyan freedom fighter wants? What is his choice? He's made what's on the license plates in New Hampshire. Live free or die. That's where he is. And where does the United States stand tonight? Look, I am a liberal. I am a progressive. But that means that we need to stand behind people who want freedom. This isn't Bush talk. This is totally different from Iraq. It's totally different from any other situation, in my opinion. This is... A situation where we have got a coalition that has come together and realized that Gaddafi is a terrorist. The president has gone on record saying that Libyan agents have killed Americans. That's all as an American I need to hear. Let's get it done. Let's arm these rebels. Let's give them a chance to fight. For the politics of all of this, let's turn to the nation's Jeremy Scahill. His cover story this week is the dangerous U.S. game in Yemen. Jeremy, good to have you with us tonight. Thanks, Ed. Does this headline, how damaging is it to the president? The headline reads that the president sends CIA into Libya. What do you think? Well, you know, the, the, the CIA operatives on the ground there are sort of engaged in an eHarmony.com or sort of, uh, you know, dating service relationship with the rebels for the clandestine world. I mean, this is, as, as Colonel Jacobs said, standard fare. What I think is of, of more concern is the fact that there are certainly U.S. Special Operations Forces units that are deployed already secretly inside of Libya that are painting targets for the airstrikes. But Ed, I have to say that the, the scenario you're laying out, when you talk about arming the, the quote-unquote freedom fighters, it really evokes images of the disastrous dirty wars of the 1980s. I mean, the United States getting involved in what is effectively a Libyan civil war, a thousand or so rebels that it don't does. have that don't have much military training. I mean, what you're advocating, yep. Ed, is is that Americans are going to have to be totally invested in a, in, a, in one side of a civil war. The president stuck his neck out very far when he said that Gaddafi has to go. If the United States sends troops in there, and 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 they would have to, as Colonel Jacobs said, if they're arming it, then we have a third full-on war in addition to the covert wars that the president's waging in Yemen and Somalia and elsewhere on the Horn of Africa. I think a lot of military folks see mission creep in a big way here. Ed. Well, we have got a coalition put together. No question about it. We have got a willing coalition put together. Timing is everything. The circumstances surrounding this right now present us an opportunity to do justice on a man who the president says his agents have killed Americans. There's no question that Muammar Gaddafi, I'm sure the, most of the entire world wants to see Muammar Gaddafi gone, but the fact is that Ali Abdullah Saleh, the president of Yemen, is a murderous thug who has been sniper shooting nonviolent protesters, and he remains a close friend of the Obama administration the the dictatorship the Khalifa family in Bahrain these are these are this is a corrupt monarchy and the only thing that we get out of them is hosting the fifth fleet there so don't say anything about their violence the message we're sending well, to the world the UN is security the, the, but the, the UN Security Council has not rendered judgment on the country that well, you're talking the about fact that the fact of the matter is Ed, that that UN Security Council resolution was the result of blackmail and cajoling on the part of the Obama administration a majority of the world's people represented on the Security Council Brazil uh, China, Russia, you're, India, you're, you're, they, they, they abstained because they didn't want anything to do with taking sides in a civil war. And, and that's their call. That's their that's call. That's the majority but they of the world citizens but they didn't, there. But they didn't stop it. Now, <laughs> they, they There's didn't. no NATO. There's they no NATO without wait, the United States. China There's could no have UN stepped Security up. Council without the, the United States. The Russians could have stepped up. They could have blocked this action in Libya. No question about it. Every situation is different. And Secretary uh, Hillary Clinton has said just that. And the president has been very clear on it. We have a situation now to bring justice on a terrorist who has killed Americans. That's why I support this policy. That's why I support this move. Well, Ed, this sounds a lot to me like uh, like Ali North and the Iran Contras, where you take a you thousand people and call them freedom you fighters. Jeremy, I mean, you, you, can, you can paint me any way you want. You're, you're backing a thousand people, Ed, <laughs> in, inside of a very large country, okay. and, and, it's, and you're taking sides in a civil war. And what you're advocating is going to lead to more American deaths and hundreds of millions that. of dollars. You don't know well, that. Well, it's already cost because, us because $400 Obama, million. Dollars. You, I take President Obama 
Obama's word for it that troops will not be engaged on the ground. I take well, his word for well, it. Well, what now, about, if, he he, wants, if he wants to hang me and my opinion out to dry okay, as an American, well, well, that's fine. You know, what, you know what President Obama has done, whose word you've taken? He my didn't, President he didn't, Obama? He didn't close. He didn't close. My no, who's, President who's Obama? Word you've is taken? he your president, whose word too? you've taken, I said. Jeremy, he is he Guantanamo? your president? Wait a minute now. No, you're not going to be at the water's edge. Is he your president, too? Of course too? he's. I'm an American. Okay. Of course he's my so president. I said okay. the, the words. You're, you're saying you take his word for it. I do take his word for it. He didn't close Guantanamo. He's doubled down on some of the worst policies of the Bush administration. I just got that back may from be Afghanistan true. where we're killing people. He didn't put universal health care at the table. Yeah. I haven't yeah. been totally happy with President Obama on every issue. I've been very clear on that. But the fact is, is that we have the resources and the position to take out a man who has killed Americans. And I think that we have a moral obligation to the families in this country who lost people on that Pan Am 103. This is our time to do just this. So do and you, we can do it without boots right. on the ground. Do you, do you think that we should take out Ali Abdullah Saleh, the president of Yemen, who you got to go to the U.N. all the time. No, that's no, Bush no, talk. We, 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 no, United, Jeremy, that's Bush talk. Bill, Bill Clinton. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Bill Clinton no. didn't go to the U.N. when no, no. he bombed Kosovo. No, you have to Bill go Clinton through didn't go channels to, to get this it's done. It's bipartisan. This is exactly what's wrong with this debate from the standpoint of what we can do and when we can do it. When the president the has go gone the through for the, the U.N. to get this done. We're, we're bombing Yemen. When did the, when did the president go to the U.N. to launch Tomahawk cruise missiles in Yemen? You and I disagree. You and I disagree on this. facts. Okay. Well, look, uh, I support the president and the United States to do what they can to help these freedom fighters. That's where I'm at. You want to call me Ali North? You go right ahead. I think ahead. it's a wrong-headed policy that could lead to American okay. death and a disaster, then, a further disaster in Libya. Then, then we, okay, that's your calculation. That's what you feel based on what has happened with the Mujahideen in the 1980s. I understand that. But every no, situation also by is different. dealing with the president of Yemen because he supports al-Qaeda one day and us the next day. We're involved with a very okay. dangerous game throughout the Middle East. There's no doubt we are. Got to run. Jeremy Scahill, I appreciate the conversation Thank you, from the nation. I respect your work. Thank you for joining us tonight.